Welcome to the Monday Victory in Biz Accountability and Success Call with uh, me, Vanessa Raymond, your success and self-image coach. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. We have a couple of new faces. It's so nice to welcome uh, everybody in. And um, so as we get started, uh, I don't know. So why don't Cindy, why don't you just quickly, I know Phyllis knows you. Well, why don't you quickly tell Dan what you do? And then I'll let Dan also introduce himself to you ladies. Okay. So, hi, Dan. Um, I help businesses stay connected and build that through relationships. So I've got a wonderful system that puts in place that can actually send um, cards to your customers and clients, either on a one-off or on a scheduled basis, as well as my true passion is running nonprofit agencies. Um, that's what I'm, that is really my, the, the nonprofit edge. And so helping them put systems in place so they can keep their sanity. Love it. Thank you, Cindy. All right, Dan. Very cool. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate the, the framework because I always am terrible at introducing myself on these things. Um, but yeah, I help businesses with their technology and their software. Um, that's kind of my passion is really I got started with mobile apps, um, but I've expanded that into funnels, websites, text messaging, emails, membership sites, um, the whole nine yards. So I've worked with people from beginners to advanced businesses um, to really either start or grow or scale their technology operations. Um, but yeah, my, my heart and soul falls with apps. So that's kind of what I joined for. That's what I do a lot of, um, you know, whether it's, you know, a mobile app on your phone or a web app or something like that. So um, I've always just kind of done all those kind of really techie weird things. So that's what I do. <laughs> Yeah, we're excited, uh, Dan, to have you. Thank you for explaining. Hi, Sarah, how are you? And so uh, you guys, might, you've heard Rob say, we have an app guy coming in, we have an app guy coming in, it's Dan. And Dan here has a system that he explained to me, it makes things a lot easier. And I can tell you, it's very affordable because in the past, the app people that we have been connected to, uh, the pricing was way up there. So really do speak to Dan if you are at all interested in creating an app. And as you can hear, he can also help you with whatever technology you need help with. All right, thank you. So let's go around today and see what is your number one goal for this coming week. I know last week we had a lot of people finishing their book chapters and all those types of things. What is new this week for you guys? Um, Phyllis, do you want to kick us off and let us know what you have to get done this week? Sure. So I'm Phyllis Marlene. I'm a clean beauty advisor and advocate. And I'm also the new uh, director for networking and community with the event chapters for Achieve. So I have a goal to, to have two new chapters start this week. And also um, I'm working with another salon in Colorado uh, to sign up with my product line. Fantastic. So those event chapters, Phyllis, uh, do you know where those are happening or is that just a goal right now? No, I'm looking at uh, at least one in Florida and uh, one in Colorado. Fantastic. Love it. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Um, Sarah, my love, welcome. Good to see you. Great to see you as well. My um, plan for this week is to have a sarahstockham.com um, website, one page set up. I have other ones going, but I really want to have just the one page in place. And I think it'll happen this week. Awesome. You don't, do you think it'll happen or will it happen? All the pieces that I need to do to take care of it are in place. And I, I believe it's happening this week. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> I have a speaking engagement on Saturday. And the plan is to have it up and fully running and functional before the speaking engagement. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations on the speaking engagement. That's always great. Uh, Kim, how are you today? I'm really good. I um, Hello, everyone. Wonderful to see you. Um, I'm, I'm good. I'm in the midst of six events, six weekends straight. 
Um, three down, three to go. Um, no, four to go. Excuse me, four to go. But no, three yeah. to go. Um, <laughs> I'm traveling three weekends. Um, so um, we Number are now, point. and I came, pardon me, I came in a few minutes late. So you're asking about goal yes. or is this win? Goal. We're talking goal today. Right. I have, I'm working with Charlie and I have a lot of homework to do, so I'll do that. And um, can I share a win also? Absolutely. Okay. In, in addition to the shows are just really going well, um, that I've had troubles finding help, labor for setup and takedown that would show up and be reliable. And it appears that I've got now three new incredible people. So I'm, I'm ah, brought the awesome. fresh air and may that keep working. Um, so, oh gosh, there's so many list to do's. I know what I'll summarize it with, that I get my big to do's done by tomorrow, not by Friday. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Good. Fantastic. Kim. And by the way, I don't know if you saw, I posted on the exclusive Facebook group about an expo that's in September. It's the last weekend of September. I'm presenting there, but they're also still looking for five or six vendors. So. Okay. I'll take. Can you, okay. I will message you. I, I think, send I'll you. Take a look. I think I'm booked the last weekend, but maybe not. I'll check the date. Okay. Well, and that's for everybody here. If you want to exhibit here in Denver, end of September, it's a health, wellness, and fitness expo. Uh, let me know. I have information on that. Okay. All right. Um, hello, Eva. Do you want to share your number one goal with us for this week? You're muted still, Beb. Hello. Hello. Um, to rework my chapter, and I'm working on my um, some of my speaking, um, some of my presentations. I have three major presentations that I do: um, one for wellness, one for business owners, and one for just get your button gear. So <laughs> you know, um, so I'm going to work on those. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic. Dan, are you ready to share your number one goal for the week? Yeah, yeah. It's actually, um, it's about Achieve Systems. I think my goal is to finally get my uh, my marketing plan revamped. Um, I've been following through like the, the onboarding documents and stuff. And um, I, I hope it's not, I don't know how involved it is, um, but uh, like the, the business plan and the marketing plan, because I've kind of needed, it's good timing because I've needed a revamp of all this stuff anyway. Um, so that's my main goal is to get into there, get into the resource center, get that stuff printed out or whatever I got to do and just fill it out and be done with it. So that's, yes. my, that's my main goal. Great goal. It's uh, Dan just joined you guys. For those of you who came on late, this is Dan Hefner. He's our app and technology guy. So if you uh, need help, if you want to create an app or you need help with any of your technology, you can reach out to Dan. All right. Uh, Cindy. You want to share your number one goal of the week with us, please? Yeah, I just came out of the Achieve You, so I have a really long to-do list. But from a business <laughs> standpoint, right now is my sweet spot. Um, the holidays are coming. And so if businesses are going to be sending out greeting cards, uh, any kind of holiday card, which can be Thanksgiving through New Year's, um, I have a text that I'm sending out that just says, hey, are you sending out holiday cards? This year, if yes, uh, let's chat before you order. Okay, so, I love it. I love I it. That. <laughs> so with that said, Cindy, I love that you shared that. Is there anybody on here today that has anything like event or anything coming up uh, that they want anybody here to know about, Eva? Um, I've got an event in Monument coming up in September. And um, it is holistic um um it's all natural basically it's for the health community in the monument area so i have that coming up and i have a couple of others coming up 
Um, I try and do at least once a month, um, do an exhibit or a table or something like that. So um, those are all coming up. I have a couple in October. As a matter of fact, and I hope I don't lose everybody. Um, in October, I have a Super Saturday and you are all invited. And our Super Saturday is basically, we go over all of the products and it's it's a win-win, build, build, see what there is, uh, find out how to grow younger. Um, and that's, you know, oh, that and I will be speaking at that. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for sharing. Uh, also a reminder that on Friday, we have a happy hour in Colorado Springs. Yeah, for those of you who can make it. I'm sorry, Dan, I know you're, <laughs> you're way out there, but that's okay. Anybody else have anything to share? Anything going on? All right, uh, if I may, uh, my show up program is starting this Thursday. So if any of you are interested in joining, I have a few more spots open. Let me know, shoot me a message if you want to know more about it. If you don't really know what it is, I can um, share with you. But uh, it's uh, three weeks, a one hour session every Thursday at 2 p.m. And then a private one on one with me. And uh, basically, we talk about all the good stuff about showing up as the best version of you. How can you um, be congruent with your message, uh, self-image stuff, confidence stuff, business building stuff. All right. So if there are, are there any more questions before I jump into our little teaching moment? No questions. Okay. So today I actually, it really just fits in with what we do here every Monday. I really want to talk about um, being intentional, right? Being intentional in your business, being intentional in your life. Uh, so starting your week off here with me, with your goal of the week or sharing your win is intentional, right? It's a great way to set intention for your week. And that's why I set up this call this way so that you guys all voice uh, what it is you have to get done and you feel a sense of accountability, not only to us, but also to yourself. And in the end, that sense of accountability to yourself as an entrepreneur, none of us would be successful if we didn't have that integrity, right? So I commend all of you here because you wouldn't be here as an entrepreneur and a solopreneur if you did not have the integrity to do that. And so, oh, I think, oh, hi there, honey. How are you? Welcome, if, welcome. Am, am I early, late or what? You're a little late. We started at quarter past, but it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are you today, Doug? Good. Very good. Thanks. Awesome. Welcome. I'm just talking for the moment about living with intention and having integrity in your business. Um, and so, but I want you today to not just think about that accountability and that setting intention in your business, but also everywhere else in your life. Because as we all know, what goes on in our lives bleed into our businesses, whether we want it or not, right? It's just one of those things. Uh, if we're affected as human beings, our businesses are affected too. So do you wake up in the mo morning or maybe the night before you go to bed? Do you spend a little time to set intention for your day? Intention in your business, maybe your relationship, maybe self-care or spirituality or family. I want you guys to all become more aware of this again. I mean, for a long, long, long time, I live very unintentional. I, I kind of, my thing was, do I live in the moment, right? I'm in the present. I'm very present. And that's important too. It's important to be in the moment and to be present. But it's also important to uh, look forward and to look and set intention for specific things in your life. Hi, Caroline. Welcome. Sorry, honey. We're like um, already 15 minutes into the call. Okay. I'll get back to you and David for your, um, for your goals of the week. I'm just talking about living with intention and having intention in your business. So the way for us to be most successful and for us to sustain it is to find balance, to find balance and intention 
intentional living in all areas of our lives. Okay, so look at every area of your life and see where is it that you might not be living intentional or maybe you're ignoring something, um, you know, <laughs> uh, to get a little bit personal here. I, I am in my second marriage, right? I have had a divorce and my first marriage, really, I realized that part of the problem was I was so focused on my life and my business and I ignored some things that were going on in my personal life because I really didn't want to deal with them, right? So I kind of packed everything else on top of that, shoved that under the rug a little bit, figuring I would get to it at some point. No, I want you all to be really intentional and have accountability and integrity in every single area of your life. Because if there's one area that is not getting the attention it needs, it is going to bleed into everything else in your life. It'll show up in your business, in your income, and of course, your mental, emotional, everything gets affected. So my message for you today is simply that. Just for your homework this week, Go and look at all the areas of your life, you know, workplace, at home, family, spirituality, um, self-care. What are you doing for yourself, your relationships? And assess, are you really paying attention? And are you looking ahead and seeing? Because only once we become intentional and aware, can we make a plan to create what it is we want, right? So... That is your message for this week. Before I go to our two lovelies that haven't had a chance to share their goal of the week, are there any questions or additions to what I just shared with you? Yes, Eva. I think sometimes like for me, I am, those of you who know me, I am a type A. So intention is like all night long, intention is going. So I've had to develop and I'm having to redevelop ways to turn my mind off before I go to bed because otherwise I am living my day all, all night. And so I have had to learn over all these years that there are certain things that I do before I go to bed to turn my brain off. And by doing that, you okay the wellness pro you need eight hours of sleep a day to be <laughs> at your optimum yes. otherwise at six or below you're going to have heart issues all sorts of issues so in order to get that eight hours of sleep I've had to intentionally schedule when I go to bed when I get up now that we have the service puppy when I get up in the middle of the night but finding a routine that get makes your brain settle so that you get a full eight hours sleep and your body needs eight hours in order to work optimally thanks for yes absolutely Eva and it's it's just like our morning routine right we need that routine at night uh, also too because as entrepreneurs too the brain it never stops right there's always things <laughs> that need to be done now you need to figure out what that routine is for you for me actually writing down what i need to do the next day helps me cuz that sometimes okay. it keeps me awake when it's not written down because i think i'm going to forget right so for me if something's not in my calendar it almost doesn't exist right so for me i have to kind of look through my calendar and go okay you know this is what my day looks like. Now I can go to sleep. I know what tomorrow looks like. If that's if that doesn't work for you, you might be the person that has to get up early in the morning and rather let your brain rest the night before. You need to figure out what it is. Thank you, Eva, for sharing that because that's that's true. We all have different ways of functioning, different ways of operating. And yes, I'm very bad at getting those eight hours sleep a night. Sleep a night. So getting better at it every I day. I can help Anyone? you. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know I'm getting better at it. I'm not, I'm a good sleeper actually, but um, you know, my baby didn't sleep through the night till he was four years old. So um, that kind of messed with my whole uh, habit of sleep. Um, anyone else want to ask or share something about intention, living with intention? 
All right. So, um, Caroline, would you mind sharing with us? Um, well, firstly, I don't know. Does every anybody here anybody here don't know Caroline? Caroline, would you introduce yourself and then share with us your number one goal for the week? Wow. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm a newbie here, so I know Phyllis, of course, and it was through the wonderful Phyllis uh, I, I kind of got connected here. I'm really excited. This is my first kind of drop in, and I'm sorry I was late. I looked at the converter and thought, OK, click in, bang on time, but clearly not. Um, a I, I wasn't sure what this was going to be about, but you asked me what our goal for the week is. Uh, I've got to get my story written so to submit to you. Uh, I woke up this morning and I had a lovely blank canvas and none of it went to plan, but that's the way <laughs> my work is. And I love it and I can cope with it and deal with it. Uh, but it's brought me new intentions. But this week, if I say that story is going to be done, that's going to be done. And um also, my intention to be working on my new website and making sure that that gets a jiggle on and uh, to catch up with family and catch up with more family and friends because I've stopped teaching my yoga this week um, to give myself a break before September so that I can, yeah, just take my time to do all the other things that are on my table. But it's all good. Fantastic, Caroline. Thank you for being here. We love having you. What time is it there now? Uh, the time now is nearly 20 to 9 at night. Okay. Vanessa, awesome. does everyone know what she does? No, I don't believe so. Caroline, share what you do, hon. Oh, I will do my best, but you still won't know what I do. Okay, so if we talk a simple language, you'll get it. We're all stress buckets. We fill our bucket with our history. And what I do is empower people to turn on that big tap on their bucket and heal from the past and build resilience. Something I've been doing for 11 years. It's, my program's called the Total Release Experience, and it totally is, is that. Uh, it enhances every other well-being um, program that there is because there's things we can't get to that goes so deep in our body, but our body has the power to release. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of going to leave you with that for the moment. <laughs> I, I hope that gives you that. some some insight, but uh, I feel blessed to be doing summary. what I'm doing. I love it. Beautiful summary. Thank you, Caroline. Mr. Seaforth Live. <laughs> Would you like to, I know a lot of people here know you already, but you can reintroduce yourself. There's a sure. few people on today. Absolutely. My name is David Pike. I'm out of the Orlando, Florida area. Thanks to Phyllis, my dear friend of 10 years. And um, my company uh, that I work with is called Seaforth. And we are a um, online marketplace with the travel services, uh, um, a fuel catalyst that'll save you money on fuel. We have uh, health and wellness products, and we're going to have a lot of other products coming up over the year. And it's a, it's a place where you can save money, uh, share with others and earn a little bit more for yourself. And um, for me, it's really about creating that reminder list and looking over it before I go to bed or before I shut down for the evening for the next day. And then when I get up, go back through that list and say, okay, these are the one thing, this is the one thing I need to accomplish, just like the book, the one thing, Gary Keller, right? So I, because I'm a creative and my mind's all over the place and it's always going in 90 different directions, but I've got certain tasks that I have to accomplish for that day. I host two webinars a week and if, and if I don't know what the topic is and I haven't sent out the emails and it's 7.30 and I'm editing the video with 30 minutes to go, I mean, that doesn't work. I need to really get ahead of the curve with the business and everything I've got going. So that's really my goal this week. And then to, to get on that, path and stay on it because if i'm ahead of the curve with all the tasks that i have to do that not only opens up free time for me but i make sure i get stuff done and fantastic. i think that's really important yeah awesome thank you david thanks for You're sharing welcome. and that's a good point too you know when we stay ahead of the curve we avoid overwhelm yeah uh, 
Yeah, because it's when we get behind, when that overwhelm kicks in. And uh, so, you know, sometimes we have to pay catch up over the weekend, but um, it is good to always have those goals set and know exactly what you need to get done. And yes, life happens sometimes. And, and if I could just add to that, there are people that we work us work with that hold us back from getting to that next step. Right. So we need to be the leader. We need to be the leader and reach out to them personally and say, you know what, John, I love working with you. And there's things I'd like to do different. I didn't say, but, and there's things I'd like to do different so we can both stay ahead of the game. Because, because as you all know, we had trouble last week because we didn't get the stuff done and it was inconveniencing, inconveniencing you and inconveniencing me. So let's work together to make that happen. But it's taking that leadership role with those that we work with and do it in a positive light. Yes. Thank you, David. We all need to be leaders of ourselves and our businesses because otherwise nobody else is going to do it for us. And yes, having, having the confidence to go up, up to someone and really voicing, voicing how you feel in a tactful, professional way, just like David just explained. Thank you, David. You're well, welcome. you guys, that wraps up our call for today. So good to see all of you here. You know, I don't... I, I don't mind finishing a little early. I know everyone has stuff to do, things to get to. Thank you for being here today. And I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Caroline, David, it starts at 1.15, just so you know, for future reference. Change um, the calendar, yeah. Yeah. Um, is, is, it, uh, is it stipulated as 1.30 anywhere? I just want to make sure because sometimes those things creep in. Yeah, I'll it appears sure. on my calendar and it says it's 1.30 uh, or, or 3.30 in my case. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know where that calendar invites coming from. So I, if you can check that and see where it's coming from, I don't know where it's coming from, but if you can adjust it to 115, that'd be great. All right, you guys have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you next week. Phyllis, bye -bye. call me. Thank you. Phyllis, call me. Bye. Thanks. All man. right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.